One more story, this time of a, a bird. So what happened was this um, Rasulullah was going on a journey and with some Sahaba, some companions. And what happened was when they passed by, there was a tree and there were like two little birds in the nest. So, so the Sahaba took two of those uh, little birds in the nest and the actual the mother was away. So when the mother of the bird came back and saw that these little birds are missing, so it came to Rasulullah that bird came to Rasulullah and the bird started to flap her wings very fast. So Rasulullah understood what she was trying to say, was able to communicate. Rasulullah told his companions, Who has grieved this bird by taking away her little ones? So, Sahaba, they got surprised, and how does he know that we took the little birds? So, Rasulullah was able to figure out by the bird how he communicated with him. So, Rasulullah, the Sahaba told them, Yes, we did, Ya Rasulullah. So, they were told, uh, commanded by Rasulullah. Uh, to give it back to this bird give it back so they gave it they put it back in the nest so that was the story here so again so we notice the same thing in all these ahadith that these creatures you know they are not intelligent like us but they knew that if they have any problem who is there to help them out they knew that there's somebody who can help us out in all this difficult situation. Not on just not just humans, but also the animals. And uh, again, a lesson for us to think here. Sometimes you know, we drive here, right? We we drive, and sometimes we see that a bird is maybe probably injured because of stuck with a bird. People are just like, yeah, let me just crush it, and I'm not gonna go right and left. It's just a bird. Who cares? That's how our behavior is. But Rasulullah the Islam that he came with, it's different. He is basically telling us that you have to be merciful to the birds even. So the little thing, the minimum that you can do at least, if you see a bird like that, just pick up that bird and put it on your left or right on a safe place. Don't wait for a car to crush that bird. At least you can do that much. You know, that's what... Uh, Rasulullah taught us that this is how you should be with the animals. 